Oh my god, this just happened. I didn't get it live, but holy Oh my god. What the f How's it going everyone? Today I am hosting a meetup game here at the Limelight Card Room in Sacramento, California with my friend Joe Nguyen and we are going to make this a 2-5 no limit game on a Monday. This card room is a very small card room. They only have two tables. They don't normally have games running on Mondays or Tuesdays. So we're taking a chance here. We think we can get it done. There's my buddy Joe right there. We're going to start this off with a round of drinks and this is is gonna be a splashy game they do have some unusual chip color denominations here purples are a hundred yellows are 20 they don't have 25s greens are fives and reds are ones let's get this game started I'm in this game for a thousand dollars to start with and right away we're gonna get dealt a playable hand pocket jacks in the cutoff there is a under the gun limper and I'm gonna raise this to $25 and get two colors from the big blind and the limper. It's gonna come out king eight seven rainbow on the flop. We're all going to check it around. It's a five on the turn. Dan's gonna check his big blind. Val is going to bet 35 here into 75. I'm gonna make the call. Dan folds from the big blind and we are going to the river. It is an ace of diamonds. This is gonna go check, check. I think I might have a winner, but Val turns over his king eight. He flopped top two. He chose not to bet the river. I'm not sure if I'm calling the river anyways. And that's how this game gets started. So we're on to the very next hand. And look at this. I get dealt pocket kings. Yeah! There's an under the gun one raised to $15. I'm going to three bet this to $45. And we get a caller from the under the gun one player. The flop is going to come out queen, queen three. Pretty good flop, but not the best flop. Um, I am concerned that he does have some queens in his opening and calling range. And my hand is so strong. The worst case here is if I get check raised off of it. So I'm just gonna check it back and wait till a later street to go for value. Unfortunately, the turn is an ace of diamonds and now this board is getting ugly. It checks around again. And then it's a seven on the river. He bets 45. I'm just going to call here. I'm thinking he either has an ace or nothing at this point. He does say that I'm good and made a good call. And that is the first pot I win of this session. So I play two hands back to back and I'm trying to take notes in my phone on those two hands for the vlog. And I get dealt another playable hand, ace queen suited of clubs. And it's going to be another three bet pot because the middle position player is going to open this to 15. I make it 50. He calls. We're heads up. I flop top pair, top kicker. There are two hearts on this flop. So I'm definitely going to bet here for value and to protect against that flush draw. There's also a straight draw out there as well. He's going to call the 60. We're going to go to the turn. It's a irrelevant six. And he's going to check it to me again. So now I'm going to bet 120. He calls again. And the river is a seven. The flush does not get there. He checks it. I decide I'm just gonna check this back. Although I could definitely go for three streets of value here to target the king, queen, queen, jack type hands. But I think a lot of the time here, he has a missed draw. He's not gonna call me anyways. Uh, I'm happy to just check this back and take a pot. And that was three consecutive hands in a row. So now I really need to take some notes on my phone because otherwise I have no idea what's going on here. This just in from the limelight. This might be the cheapest 2-5 rake. $4 max at a full table. Let's go. Well, this is like the first time ever that my wife showed up while I'm playing poker. Ever. Ever. <laughs> so serious. They're so serious. <laughs> Val just bet $5 on the river. <laughs> <laughs> and he got a call. He got a call. He got a call from Rooster. <laughs> that guy right there is my buddy Rooster, and I'm gonna play a pot against him on this next hand where he opens to $20 from early position. I'm in the cutoff with Ace Jack offsuit. I am going to call, and we're gonna see a flop. I flop top pair, top kicker once again on a Jack 8 5 with two diamonds on the board. He checks it to me. I'm gonna bet 25. He calls, it's a five of spades on the turn. He's now gonna lead $35, and I just don't believe that he really has any fives here in this spot, unless it's like ace five. 
So I'm just going to call to allow him to continue potentially bluffing on the river. It's a two of spades on the river. Pretty irrelevant card here. He shuts down and checks and I think I normally would be value betting here. But it's early on and it just doesn't feel right to bust my friends here uh, in a game that I'm hosting. So I'm just going to check this back, keep it friendly here until later on. And of course my ace jack here is good. Yeah, he bet, he, he raised all in, he called in. I'm already gonna flash draw for sure. Boom. Was that a four way all in? Five way free. Five way free? Oh, he got the nuts. Oh my gosh. Wow. That's nuts wow. for Daniel. Wow. Got the nuts. I just came back from the restroom and there's a five way all in pre flop. I don't know what the action was. But this this game's gonna be good tonight. Mm -hmm. let's, let's, let's see how long it takes for him to stack these chips. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, while Daniel's stacking that mountain of chips that he just won on the previous pot, I'm gonna play another hand with Ace Jack offsuit again. I am in the live ten this hand. Daniel's gonna make it 25 to go from the cutoff, which is kind of a small raise when there's a live 10, but I'm not sure if he was paying attention and noticing that there's a live 10. I mean, look at how many chips he's busy stacking right now. So it's 25 to go. All the blinds and myself in the straddle call, so we're four-handed with 100 in the pot to go. We're gonna see a queen high flop with two clubs. It's gonna check around and I hit my jack on the turn. It's the jack of spades and now Val leads out 45 from the small blind. I'm gonna make the call here and so is Daniel. So we are still three handed to the river, 210 in the pot. It's the ace of clubs. It's a good card for me, but it also completes the flush and Val is not slowing down. He fires 125. I'm just going to call here. Daniel's gonna fold. Val turns over the nuts, king eight of clubs. That's the second time tonight he's beating me with king eight. Come on, man. It's a good thing Val won that hand because he's about to get absolutely wrecked in the hand of the night. Check this out. I don't know why all the big pots seem to happen when I'm not at the table. Again, I'm walking back to the table and a major pot is brewing between Val and Brian. They get it all in on the turn. The board is ace, six, deuce, six. Val has deuces full of sixes, and he asks Brian, do you have pocket aces? Brian says, nope. Turns over quad sixes. Val's pretty much dead, but of course it's gonna be a fun river card. It's a deuce. Quads over quads. I don't think I've ever actually seen that in real life at my own table before in a Hold'em game. That's pretty insane. Sadly, the Limelight currently does not have a bad beat jackpot. They are going to establish one soon, so maybe by the next game that we host here, they'll have one. They do, however, have one of the best promos in all of California uh, with their spinning the wheel thing. In terms of how much they're paying out hourly, they're losing money in poker because of that promo, but they are going to adjust that because they know about it. Um, and they're gonna put up a jackpot instead. So it goes both ways here. Oh my God, this just happened. <laughs> I didn't get it live, but holy <laughs> Oh my God, oh my what God. the f No more gloves, yeah. <laughs> If you haven't noticed, the action in this game is pretty amazing so far. Val is opening to $20 under the gun plus one here, and I look down at pocket 10, so I'm going to three bet this to 60. Rooster calls the 60 from the small blind, Dan calls from the big blind, Val calls, so we're four way. Let's get the flop, because we get quads versus quads again. Could this be another jackpot hand at a club that doesn't have a jackpot? On the king high flop, Rooster leads out 120. Dan calls 120. Val goes all in for like 200. It's an easy fold for me. Rooster is going to end up rejamming, and Dan's going to end up calling. So Let's see what I happens. Five. I for sure, no I for sure went from best to worst on that flop. Donation. Oh, is that raised? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, he's not falling. Uh, he's not falling for sure. Uh, are you gonna ask if they got aces again? <laughs> right. So Rooster bet 120 on the flop. Dan called. Val went all in for like 60 more. They both called. He got a gun for sure. Actually, Rooster went all in. Hey, I think I deserve to win this one. 
I was looking for you two weeks ago. Let's Capital see him. Hold on. No, I need to see you too. No, I need to see you too. Ace King over there. I need to see the number. I got a new number like All right, Val, Val gets his money back. I'm back. You got your money back. <laughs> 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 you got your money back. <laughs> you got your money back. <laughs> Next up, we have a fun spot here in a limped pot. I mean, I'm pretty, pretty, all right, so Dan's just put me all in. Uh, he bet 160 on the turn. I raised a 400 and he put me all in and he's offering to let me see a card. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna call anyways, but yes, let's do it. Which one would you like? Uh, let's go left. Your left? I don't know, just pick, <laughs> just pick a damn card. Oh, oh. <laughs> Ooh, you, you guys wanna see one? what I have? <laughs> no. Shit, that changes things a lot. Um, I think my kicker is pretty terrible. What is it? Oh, that's a good kicker. Is it? I mean, it's better than a two. <laughs> Damn. Could have a flush raw, too. I don't think I can call. Ace. Oh man. Thanks for showing me a card. <laughs> I didn't vlog the uh, bomb pot that I got wrecked on, but uh, I'm getting wrecked in my own meetup game. I'm in for 3,100. You're down 24. I'm down, I'm down like 2K right now. We're fucking changing this to a 1 2 game next week or next time. I got some of my chips back. I wasn't filming again. It wasn't that exciting. He was bluffing though. Yes. I called his bluff. Kind of stopped filming hands because we were drinking and I was super stuck. I was in for 3K. Joe was in for 3K also. It's a pretty late game. Still down like 1300 right now. I did spin the wheel though for a second time and got a $25 match play, which I bet on Baccarat and then spun that up to $300, so I got a little bit of money back, but I'm still stuck, like $1,300. I probably won't get it back because I'm not in the game. We condensed down to one table now, and so I'm just waiting for a seat. Still a fun night. Well guys, as the night continued, I ended up moving to the second table. I never got all my money back. I finished the night down about $1,400 in poker, and it was a lot of fun. We're definitely gonna do this again, so hit subscribe, like, follow me, and we will probably be doing this game again in a couple of weeks, so let me know if you're interested. Hope to see you guys there. Good luck on the felt, guys.